it's Dr. Erin here, one of the good doctors of Abbey Research, and I'm here with today's Good Doctors Diagnose for Monday, June 1st. Uh, let's all have a minute for the fact that it's June. Um, I don't know, don't know where that came from, but what I would like to talk to you guys about today um, is something we've been thinking and talking a lot here at Abbey Research, Dr. Kristen and I both, about how we rethink the workplace and what it looks like to return to work for a lot of people who have been working remotely or working from home for the last couple of months. Various places around the country and around the world are um, in different phases of returning to work and what that looks like in terms of capacity, in terms of health and safety regulations, all of that. So we're going to be spending a lot of time talking about that over the next weeks and months um, because there's a lot we don't know. Everything going forward um, is a social experiment in terms of what a, a workplace looks like or an office looks like or functions like. So we have a lot of topics to talk about and insights to share. Um, and what I want to talk about today is this idea of kind of the thinking work that happens during COVID. And what I mean by this is as we, wherever you are in the world and in the country, as we have experienced new restrictions, um, new requirements for how we engage in public, how we go out in public, um, we have had to do the cognitive work, the thinking work of uh, going so for I'll give you an example for when I go to the grocery store uh, here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, my gro uh, our state has mandated masks. So now I have to think about um, wearing a mask every time I go out in public and every time I go into a business, um, make sure that it fits, make sure I'm not contaminating it, make sure it covers my nose and, and my mouth uh, as tightly as possible. That is cognitive work. I go in. Um, we now have one-way aisles and social distancing requirements. Various parts of the grocery store uh, have changed the way they operate, like the deli counter. So all of the cognitive work that I have to do when I go into the grocery store in order to navigate these new uh, social rules um, for how I am to behave in that space. So depending on the regulations um, and requirements of wherever you are in the world and what your office has to change going forward, your employees will have to take on a level of cognitive work. And what I wanted to talk about today and suggest was the importance of communication in lessening that work and re removing or taking out that work if possible. Because it is a different level of tiring, uh, it is exhausting and draining and uh, to think through and plan and strategize what navigating those spaces looks like or navigating those relationships looks like. And so one of the things we think leaders can do as we think about returning to work is making plans for what um, you know, new social regulations, how you're going to limit contact points and touch points, um, how you're going to deal with staffing, in shifts, how you're going to deal with common, commonly used areas like break rooms, bathrooms, lunch rooms, etc. Um, so you're going to have to rethink all of that depending on the regulations of, of whatever organization um, or state uh, government you're looking at. So uh, in the state of Pennsylvania, um, the governor is requiring businesses to follow a, a lot of protocols developed by the Centers for Disease Control uh, here in the United States. So you're gonna to have to do all of that work in planning, but then we would also encourage you to do a little bit of extra work in how you can communicate those changes to your staff before they return to work so that you can remove some of the cognitive work, the thinking work uh, for them and so that they can feel as comfortable as possible. The more I know about what's expected of me uh, as a consumer, in the COVID reality that we live in, the more comfortable I am going into spaces, the more likely I am to go into them uh, and feel like I can participate fully in whatever that activity is. So we wanted uh, to have you guys, leaders and managers around the world, start thinking about what the cognitive 
thinking, what the cognitive work and thinking work will be for your staff and how you can support them through that. Um, communication is key. Signage, I'm sure, will be helpful as it has been in my experiences in the Giant Eagle. Um, but you know, letting your staff know that you're thinking about it, how you're thinking about it, and how it will be communicated to them can ease a lot of the worry and tension um, and extra cognitive work that comes into navigating how we all uh, work in these work and live in these new spaces uh, in this new reality that we have during this public health crisis. So that is my good doctor's diagnose for this Monday. We will be back with you again on Wednesday. As ever, we hope wherever you are in the world, you are as safe and as healthy as possible. And take care. We'll see you soon. Bye.